hello guys you are welcome once again to our youtube channel all right i uh, so much appreciate every one of you who have subscribed to our channel and who have also utilized our resources we so much appreciate you all all right so in today's video we'll be showing you how to design a donation website just like what you are seeing on your screen this is a perfect example of a donation website you can see donate here right click on that you can see the donate Right, there are different courses donate to a safe child donate to a homeless shelter right these are different courses all right different case rather then you have the let me go back to the home okay then you have the menu you can see the menu here all right is loading okay you can see the different um it says join to save planet elderly care different courses you can support all right so all of this is what i'll be showing you in this particular website how to design a donation website like what you are seeing all right so without wasting much time let's do the training all right so if you are not subscribed to our channel do it to subscribe and turn on the, the notification bell so you can get quality updates on our subsequent videos okay so now let's move over for you to begin let me go over you need to have access to a c panel all right you need to have access to a c panel like what you are seeing here so from your seat panel, just move over to where you have your WordPress. This is the WordPress. You click on WordPress. All right. From the WordPress, you can click on install. Then I will just change this. Just say love. Okay. Then I will put in my information. All right. So it's very easy to for you to work with. All you need to do is to pay close attention to everything that we'll be doing here. All right. So let me just. All right, so I'll click on install. All right, so once the installation is done, we can begin to import the template and customize. Very, very easy. All right, so you can you can see that the installation has been done successfully. The next thing is for you to click on this administrative URL. I see it here. Click on it. All right, so once you click on that, this is where you get to. You can see that. Then the next thing is you come to appearance and you come to team. Okay. Come to appearance, come to team, click on that, then click on upload, click on choose file. All right, so come to my download. All right, so just wait for okay. So this is it here. All right, good. I'll import it and I'll click on install. All right, so all of the material we'll be using on this particular website will be given to you. All right, but we give access to all of this. If you stay to the end of this video, we'll show you how you can get access to all the material that was used in this video. All you need to do is to stay to the end of this video. Okay. So once this is done, put the necessary payment gateway. I can tell you this particular um website has different payment gateway. All right, you can use your Stripe, you can use your paper, you can even decide to say, okay, you want to put the offline donation where you can insert. Pay the letter to your Bitcoin wallet and all the necessary information. If you want to use your bank account, you can as well do that. All right, it's very easy and it's good for you to implement. All right, so we'll just wait for this to come up. Option has been done. You click on activate. All right, you click on activate. You can see it here, begin installing plugin. So now select this, click on install and click on apply. So we'll just wait for all of the plugin to install. After that, we activate. All right, as you can see, the plugin have been installed successfully. So the next thing is for us to click on Return to Dashboard. You can see it here, Return to Dashboard. So once you click on this, all we need to do is to, is to activate. Okay. Okay, the plugin have been installed and activated. So the next thing for you to do is to come to this unison, click on the unison, right? Click on it. So once you click on unison, come to backup and demo content. You activate, right? Click on this backup and demo. Once you activate it, you can see it's activated. Then come to tools, right? Come to tools and click on content, uh, demo content install, right? Click on it. Okay, good. So this is it. The next thing is for you to click on install and you click OK. This process will take some few minutes. Right? This process will take a few minutes for you to 
to install can you see it now so what we need to do is to just wait for it to install so once this is done then we cannot begin customization and the next process okay just all right as you can see the demo has been imported successfully can you see it now so everything is perfect and working well okay so what we need to do is to customize and i will show you how to do all of that so also for the menu all right so now without wasting much time let's dive in so if we come to the dashboard so i just click on this click on dashboard okay i say is update your wordpress database just click on it continue that's all okay so once that is done we cannot begin all right good so you can see the database the back end so now to fix the menu, if you come to appearance, you can see this means come to appearance and come to menu. Alright, good. So this is the menu, and this is the demo menu. Like I always advise, if you come across a menu like this and you're not cool with it, you can decide to delete everything and create your own menu. Right? You can decide to delete and create. So, like me, now just delete this particular one. Click on remove so I have this services group donation this event volunteer fag case study blog so this particular one that has to do with blog I can remove these two I want my menu to be simple All right so I'll just come over here to so I'll delete this I'll also delete this where is it remove All right so you just go through it like this part that has to do with events. I don't also want it. I'll come over here, remove the event, the fact or the 404 page. I don't want that too. I don't want to be in my menu. I want my menu to be so simple. All right, services, cloud donation, right, event listing. So let me see, delete this too. All right, remove. Okay, so come over here and click on remove. All right, good. This part too, so remove. Okay, so you can see all what you have here. Then I will save my menu. All right, save the menu. Okay, that's good. So next, this is the part that has to do with the donation. Now let me come over here. If you come to the donation, you will see settings. All right, you see settings. Let me open the settings in the new tab. So while this is opening, on still on the donation, you will see all forms. You see ad form, you see donations, you see donors, you see reports, you see um, set, uh, settings, and you see tools. Now, looking at the settings, look at the settings we have here. Successful page, you have it there. Okay. Now, look at the different parts you have on the on the settings. Because from this from the donation, you have your payment gateway, you have your default options, emails, license, and advance. Now, let's take the one after the other. This is the currency. The currency, the currency we are going to be using is dollar. There are different parts. You can see different currencies, right? So we'll be working with dollar. You can see currency position before dollar and all of that. Then you have the access control, right? You have the access control, season time, left uh, lifetime, and all of that. Then you have the sequential ordering. All right. I think okay now. Now, coming to the payment gateway, how do you want to receive your donation money? So, if you come to the payment gateway, all right, good. All right, so let me close this. These are the different payment options, okay? Different payment options. You have the Stripe, you have the paper, you have the offline donations. All right, if you want to fix the offline donation, let me click on the offline donation. All right, good. So, you can see what it says here. To make your offline donation towards this course, follow this step. Write a check payable to the site name. That's the name, whatever name you're using on your site will come up here. Email and all of these things. So if you don't want to use this, I can say you can make your donation. Right? Let me just donation to this wallet. To this wallet address. All right. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Let me. I say to this Bitcoin wallet address, good. So now come over. 
I'll put the wallet address, just type it there. So if I want to make it bold, I'll just select and I'll make it bold. All right, you can see that. So if you also want to add your account detail, you can see you can also make donation to this account details. All right, you can see that details so you put the account name account number and bank name sorry and bank name okay so you can do that and you will save right once you're done just save settings just save settings automatically it will reflect i will show you that okay best for the paper you can see the paper here you must have a paper account you can see where it says Paper connect paper life. You can see that. So for you to fix this, you must have a paper account. Log in, log into your paper on the same browser, right? Then before you can connect it. The same thing with your Stripe. You can see the Stripe here. You can see the Stripe. So if you want to want to use this, you also have a account on. You create the account separate, then log in on the same browser. Then you can connect. That is how you connect your Stripe to it. These are the payment gateways you can use on this particular donation website all right that be said now on this part too okay on this part you have other settings you need to fix in all right let me come to settings tools okay let me go to appearance where is it okay all right this is the header let me open the header in a new tab this is the footer let me open it in a new tab okay then before we go talk about the customizing now this is the header you can see it here right this is header layout one let's view it it's very easy to to edit so if you are getting value from this particular video please do it to give this video a thumbs up okay all right just do that then this is the footer let me see the footer too all right the footer let's view it Right, so this is the footer. You can see that now. If you want to edit it, I will show you that. Let me quickly finish what I'm doing on this part. So come to appearance and come to customize. Come to appearance, come to customize. All right, good. You can see the customize here. See the set identity. Okay, good. This is the customize. You can see the set general, set identity, set background, and breadcrumb, and other other things. Now let's wait for it to load up. Good. All right. Good. Now let's start with the set general. Set general. You have the header. You have the header. Um, header. Set header. Sorry. You have the header template. Now let's go back. Set footer. You have these two. Then you have the loader. Okay, this loader that okay now let me reload let me load up the home page and so you see what I'm talking about. Okay. Oh sorry, I just skipped that. Alright, so this this is what we mean by the loader. Okay, that small icon that just turned off that's the loader. So if you want to turn it off, you can turn it off here. Then you have the cursor that's not moving. You have the on top once you scroll down you can see this icon that is what i'm talking about there now let's go back then you have the set identity the set logo you can see this logo this logo that you are seeing here this is where you change it you can see the set logo okay you have the set title okay you can see the set title there you have the set tagline the wordpress this is sorry this set title you can see my blog now if you take your mouse here you can see my blog, my WordPress blog. So you can change to your set name. All right, SAC tagline. All right, then the set icon. All right, this icon that you are seeing here, this small icon, this is where you change it. Okay, good. Go back again. The set breadcrumb. You can see the general. If you want to change it, okay, there is nothing there. All right, the color. You can see the color. The link color, which is this, this yellow. You can see the link color there. Right, so that is what you do on that part. So you just check everything 
here you can check everything one after the other all right so now that being said let's go to the home page so i'll show you how you can edit the home page and how you can get content for the home page right good if you come over to your site now this is let me come back here this is the site for example we want to edit this now now looking at what we have you want to change some content all you need to do is to click on edit with elementor you can see it here because this site was built with elementor click on edit elementor all right so you can see this is the menu so i'll just click on this to reduce so I'll click on continue then i can increase all right good so you can see the content now to edit each of these elements you have here just click on the element all right so this to edit each of these elements once you click on it like this you will see the layout you will see the settings and you will see the position this is the content you can see the content here all right if you click on the content you can see where it says join to save planet this is what you have here you can see the the subtitle then you can see the main content here all right the main content so now to get content for this particular website all we need to do if you are using the chat gpt you can as well get your content from chat gpt it will help you get facing the necessary content in wherever you want to put it all right it's very very easy to do that so make sure you design your logo and put that all right so it's very easy for you to fix all this particular one now let me show you the site again let's just go over to the site all right let's go over to this all right so as you can see this is the home page and right, these are the menus like i showed you before these are the different menu we have here now for all the things we have on this particular site just the content and the um the color right so now if you click on this donate donate us now let me show you the payment that we set the other time okay this is it then if i now click on donate now all right click on donate now let's see how it goes good still loading can you see now all right can you see what we have can you see what we have now i want to donate like 50 dollar i click on donate now right so it's a custom how much you want to put there you can set your custom to 2000 i click on donate now all right so now the difference you can see that you want to donate by online you can write an email to this all right so click on give let's see what we are talking about all right so you can see the different channel of giving these are the different platform all right so that being said that is how this particular donation it has different payments and different donation option okay different donation option all right so now for you to get us access to the for you to get access to this particular template if you are interested there is a link in the description of this video just click on the link and you'll be given access to this material all right thank you guys for staying to the end of this video all right see you in our next video